Hey guys and welcome back to Divine Journey 2. In between episodes I've been cleaning up a little bit more. I managed to get the wall on this place and hello. <laughs> You're not supposed to be there. Yeah I also moved over our water wheels. I've just been slowly chipping away at this thing. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to move this whole biodiesel generator setup or if we're just going to redesign in place. But since we've shown that in previous episodes I'm not going to show that again. Um, I'm just going to move it in between the episodes. But last time we made lots of progress in the exploration tabs. We more or less finished off chapter 5, there is a couple of optional things up here we're going to circle back for later on. We also went to the autumn dimension and we actually got that quest line finished off. And the goal for this episode is to beat the Erebus. So I hope we're geared enough, we did upgrade our gear la at the start of last episode. And I still haven't fixed this weird portal bug that I encountered at the end of last episode. Uh, yeah, it just spawns some more keystones here and for some reason it won't open the portal. So we're just going to use Slash Home. But the first step in the Erebus is to fight all of these under golems. And I think we these are all found in pyramids. So I guess the first step is to go and find one of those pyramids. So apparently this pyramid that we're looking for is quite rare. And I'm starting to believe the documentation for this. As I've been flying around here for quite a while it seems like. Well I noticed we also need all of these different kinds of mushrooms. I'm going to gather these while I see them. Yeah, it seems we need uh, four of each. I'm just missing some of these Dutch cap ones. I don't yet know what for, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. There's the quest. All right, now to find this boss pyramid, which I think is in some sort of desert. I don't know, I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, check these things out. Oh, is that one of the quest items? Yeah, it looks like it was. We need three more from these uh, centipedes. And some tarantulas, I was looking for you as well. I think we need the tarantula legs. Yeah, we do for this quest here, we need eight of these. All right, it's bug extermination time. Hey, <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> ah, <laughs> I can't get this guy off me. I think we got enough, we just have to smelt them to make them crispy. And you know what, I just remembered this is probably a perfect time to use our new augment spell for the spectator mode. Uh, yeah, augment. I wonder if there's anything we can spot over here. Looks like a spawner there. Uh, I'm not seeing the pyramid that we need though. Yeah, maybe try a different biome. It could be a different type of desert. Oh, I think I might have found this. I went into spectator mode, I saw a little glimpse of it over this way. Uh, let's check it out again. Yeah, I think this is what we're after right here. Alright, let's check this place out. <laughs> I love this repellent enchantment. There's a chance to teleport attackers away, so every time someone hits me, more or less they just teleport away somewhere. Which I'm fine with. You just have to find a way into this pyramid. Oh yeah, we're getting close now. We're getting close. And if you guys are playing this, <laughs> definitely invest in this spell. This is this makes it so easy. I don't know if I would have found this actually without the spell. Looks like we went a little bit too low. A couple of blocks up. Oh. They turn into lava, okay. But we're in, we're in. Alright, now to find the bosses. Alright, we take out the spawners at least. Get rid of those guys. And there seems to be a theme here with mazes. <laughs> I'm not good with mazes. Oh, hello. I assume this is one of the boss guys? Yeah. Alright, this isn't bad. There's the quest. One down, four to go. And you know what? Rather than going through the whole maze, I'm just going to dig my way to the other side. I assume it's on the four corners. Yeah, the other one is on, on the other side there, so... I'm just going to dig along the stone. <laughs> Completely cheese this maze again. And that does mean a lot of digging though. I don't know if this is more efficient or not. Hello Guardian. <laughs> this is totally the way Erebus was designed to be played. On to the next corner I guess. I've <laughs> got a lot more digging to do. Third Guardian down. And the last one should be in that opposite corner over there. 
So I think I'm going to run back the, the tunnel I've already dug out. And we'll go the other way around so it'll be faster. Alright, we must be getting close now. Oh, <laughs> he's right there again. Alright, that's the last guardian. And he's down. But we need to be careful not to break the block here and let the lava flow on the drop over there. I'm actually going to go over a bit and we'll break in over here. There's the quest. Alright, so now we need to get to the center of this pyramid and defeat the boss, I believe. I'm not sure what the best way of getting there, though, is. I don't know if it's better just to go through the maze or maybe try to dig up from above. Oh, a homing beacon. I have no clue what that does, but we're going to take it. Alright, this looks like the center, at least. Oh, this must be where the four, the, the four scarabs go. Gold scarab and the iron scarab. Oh, yes, and we're in. Alright, what now, then? <laughs> What is this? Oh, do we have to fill this with jade? Aha! We get another teleporter. This looks like a different sort of material. I wonder if it's these exoskeleton plates. Alright, what's next? I don't know what this is though. Is this magma cream maybe? The guys in the maze seem to drop it, so let's go back and try to get some magma cream. Ah, I'm going insane here. <laughs> I can't find those guys that drop the magma cream anywhere. Aha, we managed to get some, eventually. Alright, what's the next one going to require us to get? I think this is going to be the last one. It looks like these little eyes that drop from the spiders. Should have a lot of them. Is this the last one? Oh no, there's one more. Okay, this looks like uh, string. Looking through the recipes, it looks like silk is the only Erebus item that has string in it. Unless it drops from a mob, so I don't know if I've seen any of this silk anywhere. Let's go have a look. You would think with all the spiders in this dimension, it would be easy to find string, but uh, I, I'm not seeing any more silk blocks anywhere. Hmm. I almost wonder if it's easier just to go back to the portal. Well, I guess we don't have a portal, <laughs> we'll be doing slash home. But I, I wonder if it's easier just to go back and grab some string. I have marked the location of the pyramid over there. Alright, yeah, I decided just to go back. We got our uh, string in the inventory, we're about a thousand blocks away. Shouldn't be too bad with flight though. Alright, and eight string. Oh, we got a boss bar. And it gave us some potions. <laughs> That's never a good sign in a game. Fire resistance? Okay. I think we're as prepared as we can be at this point. I don't really know what to expect, but let's give this a go. Alright, not too bad to start. It seems like it doesn't take damage all the time, though. I don't know what the deal with that is. Oh no, I'm out of Cloudberry. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, do I not have any more? Oh, I do. I do, I do. But at least we're not one shot yet. Is this guy immune to ranged? I don't know. It seems like he can only take melee damage. Which I'm fine with. We can just keep kiting him. Ow. Oh, the radiant spell works. Oh, okay. Alright, two hits left, I think. There we go. We got the Overlord. <laughs> nice. Okay, nice. What's he got for us? The egg? Yeah, I think this is the quest item. Awesome. Alright, are we done here? Are we done in the Erebus? I'm not sure yet. Not quite. There's still a few more quests to do. It looks like we have to find the Tarantula. Yeah, we have to make this Power Egg, which requires the Tarantula Egg. I'm assuming that's what this next quest is going to lead us into. Yeah, so next step for us is to find a bunch of ores. And I did already find some while I was tunneling through that pyramid over there. I don't know exactly what I have. I have some of this temple ore. I think that should be enough. So we're back at the base just to try and clean out the inventory a bit. And I did actually find some of this ore while I was tunneling. And this is our total haul so far. I think we need some more of this version of the ore. And maybe some more fossil. While we're here, we can also pick up this tarantula leg quest. Just have to smelt some of it, make it all nice and crispy. And after a lot of digging around the Erebus, we have all of the ore we need now, so all we have to do is smelt all of this. Oh, apparently this one cannot be smelted. Well, I guess we just have to break it. Yeah. Alright, and that leads us on to our next boss, which is the Tarantula. And I believe I found his nest while I was out mining some more of this ore. Which should be right around here somewhere. I think this this structure here is where the the brood mother is. 
Oh, that's a lot of spiders. <laughs> uh, I think Radiant is probably the best bet for this place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this would be definitely not work with the armor we used to have, but the armor that we've upgraded to is holding up very nicely. Let's see what the chests have got for us. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, where is this boss room? Is it above us? Or, or is it below, maybe? Oh, that is... Oh my god, that is a lot of spiders. <laughs> oh. Oh no! Oh, that was so close! Oh, and that's the boss! <laughs> okay, get me out of here. How am I not dead yet? Oh man, I got stuck in those webs there. I think honestly, Last Stand just saved us there. I Like, we definitely should have been dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that looks like the boss at least. Can we just hit them from here? Oh, now she doesn't take ranged damage. We have to go in melee. Unless the Radiant spell works. <laughs> oh man, that was scary. Oh, we got the tarantula. And that looks like the egg we need down there. Oh, and we got the trophy as well. Cool. Alright, let's grab this egg and get out of here. <laughs> but before we leave the Erebus, there is a few more quests that we need to do. However, we do still need this elastic fiber and some dragonfly wings. So I, I did see some dragonflies over this way. I have it marked over there. Yeah, dragonfly wing. Alright, we got enough dragonfly wings. There is one last thing we need for this power egg, and that is the elastic fibers. Which we can find from these locusts. And these guys are very tanky, actually. Ah. Ah, they keep teleporting away. <laughs> Where did they go? Probably above me. Ah, there he is. No drop, though. Mm, this drop seems quite rare. I might have to kill a few of these guys. Hey, we got one. Alright, so I think our little creepy crawly adventure has come to an end. Let's finally craft this last item. So, the power egg, we need a block of jade. We need the glider wings, which we craft with the fly wings. We got the two elastic fibers. We need the, the two glider wings, which we craft with the dragonfly and some bamboo. And that just leaves the two boss eggs, so I think we can actually craft our power egg here. Hopefully we don't need these items again, but let's just grab this for the quest. And I mentioned earlier that we have enough ores to craft these rocks, but we need tw uh, three of these stones, which is 12 crafts of this mixed rock, and that is a lot more ores than we currently have, so I'm going to have to go and mine again in the Erebus. And we're also short the mushrooms. So the mushrooms are used in this amber mush, and we need uh, four blocks times two. And each block is nine of each mushroom. So <laughs> that's a lot more mushrooms than the quest asks for. Although I, no I noticed that it does give us eight as a reward. But we only get the choice of one of these things. So either way I'm going to have to go and mine some more ore. And get some more mushroom. Hmm, so I was having a bit of a hard time finding all this ore that we need, but I reread the quest and it says that this Nice ore can be found uh, near lava fountains, so I think that's what that block over there is. And if I remember right, that is also the same block that was in the pyramid, which turns into lava. So I've brought some water with me. And we silk touch this, are we going to get the Nice blocks? Oh yeah, we do, nice. We just have to find enough fossil ore now. Oh no, I think we made a mistake here. <laughs> so I was uh, auto-smelting all the ores that I just got, and I put down this niece forgetting that it turns into lava. So our base might be up in flames in a second here. <laughs> uh, let's get some water down first. Alright, let's hope we don't make a mess. At least we got obsidian. <laughs> this is how we're supposed to process this. <laughs> Alright, so finally I think we managed to get enough materials for the Erebusian rocks. We're going to craft all of this stuff. Then we have to make it into stones. I think we need, only need three of these, but we have an extra. I was also able to get enough mushrooms, so we just have to, I think, shapeless craft these. That gives us the compound blocks. And then we have to mix these with amber glass, which we just smell amber for. 
So we got some amber smelted, and now we can create our mush. <laughs> How many of these do we need? Just two? Okay. And we're just missing one piece of wool. After many, many hours in that terrible place, we can craft our crown of skies. <laughs> no quest? Oh no, we didn't pick up the, the blocks for the, uh, for the quest. Uh, we have one extra stone. I hope we don't need two for the quests. Oh, we need three. Oh, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, well, I've got more mining to do, I guess. And after another 20 minutes or so, <laughs> we finally can fix this mess. All right, let's craft these three Erebusian stones and two amber mushes. This should be two quests or three quests, maybe. And we'll have to pick up the crown again. Ah, yes. Nice. Alright, so I've I seen the here that you can actually duplicate this crown. It's meant for multiplayer, but since we have these extra mush blocks, we may as well just craft another one just in case before we use it up because it does get consumed whenever we build the aether portal. Let's actually just do this and we'll have two. So yeah, with that, the Erebus is completed. This is just some optional things. I think we can craft potions with this. And then this one is a velocity block. It's like a conveyor belt, which I'm assuming we'll have to make use of at a later stage, but we'll circle back for this quest. But this also unlocks the next two dimensions we have to visit, which is the Aether and Isica. And then after that, most of the exploration is finished. I think there's also Divine RPG, which comes later on. And I guess we have to go to the moon and things like that. So next up, let's do the Aether. And this is another dimension mod that I've never actually played with before. So to craft the portal, we need to use Glowstone. And this is built just like an, a regular nether portal. Then we activate with a water block. And then we have to click on with the crown of the skies. Somewhere. Aha! Alright, well let's not waste any more time, let's go. Let's check this out. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got the uh, the sky solar spell here. Let's quickly mark the portal. And I guess we check the first quests. So, where do we start here? Looks like we need to visit the bronze and silver dungeon. Find a huge cathedral floating in the sky. This is the silver dungeon. You know what, it might be worth actually making a glider for this place, as it'll be a bit easier than using the sky solar spell. Yeah, let's actually go and do that. Need to make up some more treated leather, and also a little bit more industrial leather. But now we can craft our glider. All right, so now let's try to find one of those dungeons. This is a very cool looking place though. I like it a lot. I do like this grass color as well. All right, let's see what this place has. Oh, <laughs> it was a mimic. Is this Dark Souls? Oh. What did she drop? Victory medal? Just some gold? Okay. Oh, she teleported me. Wait a sec, where's the dungeon? Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh, what is that thing? <laughs> Zephyr? Oh, are these guys melee only as well? Alright. <laughs> oh man, is it even worth opening the, all these chests if, we're, <laughs> if they're all going to be mimics? Another mimic. I don't know, should I be attacking these guys? I mean, I can't tell if they're supposed to be friendly or not at the start. Oh, this guy actually does damage. Uh oh. That was, that was a close call. And we should also keep an eye on the durability of our armor as well. Yeah, like, these guys don't attack me unless I attack them. Maybe I should just leave them alone. This looks like some sort of boss room. I don't know if this actually is a boss though, or... I mean, is the Valkyrie Queen hostile? Oh, what can you tell me about this place? Should we fight? <laughs> I guess so. There's no other option, is there? Oh, we have to bring our 10 medals. Okay, so we have 8. Alright, yeah, that must be what those uh, Valkyries drop. Okay, maybe the Radiant spell is better here for them. Try and get them all at once. Oh yeah, that's much better. Yeah, we got our medals. Easy. Let's go fight the Queen. Alright, fight me. Oh, you teleported me again. Well, that much that isn't much of a fight. <laughs> Where's this dungeon? Above me again? That doesn't sound good. Oh, she followed me outside. <laughs> She's chasing me. Oh, she does deal... Yeah, she deals a lot of damage. 
I don't know if it's a wise idea to fight outside here like this. Oh no! Let's run. We're on fire. Wow, she does deal a lot of damage. Yeah, Radiance is definitely the best bet. Oh yeah. Let's try and get on the roof here. Maybe that'll be better. Yeah, there's a lot more space up here. Oh, and they're homing as well. Yeah, they follow me around. So it's a little bit more difficult than the other bosses, but as long as we dodge the Thunderballs, then we should be fine. We can just spam Radiance at her. Few more hits left. I think we got her. We did get her. Nice. Oh, Vengeance Spirit. Alright, what did she drop there? The silver key? I'm guessing that's for the throne room. Let's go down and find out. Oh. Treasure chest. Aha! Silver Aether coin. I think this was our quest item. We got some gloves. Valerie metal. Or Valkyrie metal. The holy sword. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take all of this stuff. And there's our quest. Nice. Golden oak. I'm gonna grab one of these as well. Alright, so next up we want to do the bronze dungeon. And apparently that's found in the side of these islands. So we have to fly around a bit. Let's just see what we can find. And in fact, how is our armor doing? Maybe we should go back and repair this. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea. Alright, let's see if we can find the bronze dungeon here. Sheep puffs. Flying cows. <laughs> Ambrosium ore. A blitz. Dead blitz. Xanite ore. Oh, and some gravitite ore. Don't know if we'll need this, but we're going to take it. So I'm curious, like what is the intended way to traverse this dimension? Are you uh, supposed to have creative flight? Does the mod give you a way of creative flight? Oh, there's some more sheep puffs. <laughs> Still no dungeon though. And it's a bit hard to see, but I noticed this ice stone here. I don't know what this is used for. I'm going to grab some of this though. Oh, and holy stone. What a cute little bunny. <laughs> Man, the mobs here are so interesting. I love them. Aha, I think this is what we're after. This little hole in the wall. Oh, there's two dungeons. Or maybe the same one connected. Let's pick this one. Okay, we're greeted with some blitz. We can take care of these guys. But the quest does warn us that this place is not easy, so uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> is this going to be more mimics here? I bet it is. Dead end here it looks like. Let's go the other way. Oh, wait, is this the boss? You know what, I think we're ready to take on this guy. Do we have to talk to this guy as well? Attack it with a pickaxe. Oh, he's not friendly at all. And the door's closed behind us. And he teleported us. Oh, well that wasn't much of a fight, was it? Where was that waypoint? I wonder if we can just dig down. We must be close now. Oh, but we can't break these blocks. Alright, well I guess we're going through the entrance again. Alright, we're back. But I think this is actually a, a different dungeon. Uh, as the guy's reset and this is a different layout, so... <laughs> I couldn't find the entrance to that first one we were in. Well, let's just get this fight started. Oh, is this melee only again? Hopefully Radiance works. It doesn't, okay. We need to use the pickaxe. Oh, this is going to be a long fight. The quest book says this guy is really tough, but... I mean, this doesn't seem too difficult of a fight. Unless maybe there's a second phase. It's just going to be long because we don't have a lot of attack damage with this pickaxe. Okay, now he's speeding up. Yeah, I guess there is a second phase to this. Almost got him though. Hey, there we go. We got the key. I'm assuming there's a chest down here as well. Let's see what he's got for us. A flaming sword. Oh, an agility cape. And the coin for the quest. Nice. Alright, so with that, there's one more dungeon we have to do, I think. I think this is the last one, right? The gold dungeon. Well, we're going to save that for our next episode. We managed to make a lot of progress today in the Erebus. Hopefully next time we can finish off the Aether Dimension, and perhaps maybe Isaka as well. But again, I'm going to try to clean up this area a bit more between the episodes, try to get a bit more building done, and then hopefully soon we can get on to more tech stuff. Well, that's going to do us for today. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Divine Journey 2.